by Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft Power Toys, as many of you will know who do view this channel, is a collection of system utilities that are specifically um, geared towards power users um, for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And uh, these tools basically enhance your productivity and streamline um, your Windows experience um, on both OSs. Now, earlier this month, as I did post, Microsoft rolled out PowerToys version 0.72, which introduced a smaller installation size for the actual app, new plugins for the run utility, and enhancements to the mouse highlighter and power rename. Now, if you would be interested, I'll leave that uh, video down below. But just to let you know that if you are using the app, that um, PowerToys' homepage uh, might soon get a refreshed and modern look and feel. And um, the redesign apparently is geared toward providing you with an improved view highlighting all the enabled features. Now, currently, this is what the homepage of the app looks like, which I personally don't have a problem with. But if we just head over to an image provided over on GitHub, and this is how this new um, feature is described, and I'm quoting, PowerToys is an incubation system for testing new work. Some features are on by default, others off. Most of the time, uh, we will default them to on, which as many of you all know who do install PowerToys, if you do install the app at, at first run, all the features basically are on by default. Uh, Microsoft carries on to say, this from time to time leads to unexpected results when someone quickly invokes Find My Mouse or other utilities. Now, basically, um, this is a very conceptual, according to Microsoft, and quick and dirty composition, as they're calling it, of what a new homepage experience could look like. So this isn't the final product. This is basically a mock-up of what the final product of the new homepage could look like. So just uh, keep that in mind. Now, basically, um, the description for the layout and the redesign is this. Um, it would have a list of all modules that can be quickly turned on or off, as we can see. Then, when turned on, a module card would appear on the dashboard here, as we can see, basically as a quick shortcut to that module or tool or utility, whichever name you'd like to call it. Um, that could provide name and icon main activation shortcuts, if any, ability to launch the module. So we can see that. So basically, um, your utilities or modules currently found on the left, when activated, will then be found on the dashboard. And then all the inactive modules or utilities will be listed here to the right-hand side. And here's where you can quickly um, update um, your app as well just to check for the latest updates. So the general page will more or less stay the same, which is currently the home page in the stable version. And then we will get this new home page with a main feature being this dashboard to see what you have turned on and yet to the right what you have inactive or turned off. So that's basically just a brief overview um, of that new home page. But as mentioned, um, as Microsoft is saying, this is conceptual and a mock-up. So that couldn't um, most probably won't be the final outcome. So we might see a couple of adjustments when that does roll out. But as mentioned, this is what the current general section or homepage looks like. And obviously, if any more info does become available and we get more information, um, I will obviously post and let you guys know, um, especially if you guys are using the Power Toys app, which, by the way, can also be, be downloaded from the Microsoft Store um, for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.